Another great saint of the Russian Orthodox Church is uh, Saint John of San High or and San Francisco, a man of God and prayer. Vladika John, who uh, has alone made a lot of uh, wonderful miracles. Saint John was born in 1896 uh, on the 4th of June in Kharkov, now southern uh, Russia, and his parents were Boris and Glafira. He was baptized by the name of Michael. In 1907 uh, to 1914, he was a student at the Poltava, Poltava Cadet, Cadet Corps. In 1914, he attended the Kakov Law School. Uh, from 1921 to 1925, he, the, he went to the Belgrade Theological Seminary School. In 1924, he was ordained reader by the Metropolitan Anthony Krapovo, Krap Krapovitsky. In 1925 to 1927, he was an instructor of the religion at the Serbian State High School. In 1926, he was tonsured a monk at Milkovo Monastery with the name of uh, with the name John. In November, he was ordained hieromonk. In 1929 to 1934, he was a teacher in Beto Theological Seminary. In 1934, he was consecrated bishop by the Metropolitan Anthony May on the on the May of 28. He arrived in Sehai on November the 21st, where he remained until the end of the Second World War. In 1946, he was raised to the rank of our Archbishop. In 1947 and 49, he came to America to arrange for the immigration of his flock, which finds temporary refuge on the Philippine island of Tubabao. In 1950, he became head of the Western European Diocese with his stay uh, first in Paris, then in Brussels. In 1962, he was appointed Archbishop of Western America and San Francisco. He arrived there on November the 21st. In 1966, he was reposed in Seattle on June the 19th and uh, or July the, the 2nd with the I'm going to say some uh, things about Vladika John and then I'm going to read you some of his miracles because there are thousands and a lot of people were benefited by uh, Vladika John. The consecration of, of Archbishop John, the last consecration performed by Metropolitan Anthony Krapovitsky was that of higher monk John Maximovic to the office of Bishop of Shanghai. Bishop John became uh, bishop at the age of uh, 38, very young for his age. He came from a noble family in the religion of Kharkov and came to the, no the notice of Vladika Anthony in Kharkov in 1914. After finishing the cadet corps, he graduated from law school in Russia and from the theological seminary in Belgrade. Then, having been tortured, tortured as monk by Vladika Anthony in the Milko, Milkovo uh, Monastery, he taught as an uh, hero monk in the Beetle Theological Seminary. In Beetle Hero, hero Monk, uh, hero monk Jan revealed himself as a fervent man of prayer and a person who uh, did miracles uh, almost every day because of his prayers. The local Macedonian and Greek population, from whom he served in Greek, uh, came to love him very much, as much as other people from other from other um, 
populations who uh, were benefit who were benefited by the prayers and uh, the miracles of Saint John Maximovich. A lot of, a lot of bishops who were with uh, Saint John or Metropolitans, as Metropolitan Anthony was were always saying good things about Saint John. They were always saying that it was a small, frail individual, almost a child in appearance in some sort of miracle and ascetic steadfastness and strictness in our time of general spiritual paralysis. This is how St. John was always where, was always where. Uh, even in our times, there was nobody just like uh, St. John. He was a miracle of ascetic steadfastness, where he was always praying, he was praying everywhere. With good reason did the young and similarly spiritual attuned hero monks note that uh, Saint John was always he uh, 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 always starting praying, uh, but Vladika, all the other all the other uh, monks and Archbishop was start praying, start their praise. But uh, Saint John was always praying day and night. No matter what changes occurred in his outward situation, in the external conditions of Ladika John's life and his work, prayer and the divine services were of primary importance to him. Nothing could disturb him from this. No single individual can possess, can possess all perfections and be the bearer of all gifts. Everyone can make mistakes. No one is from uh, uh, making mistakes, but those who had contact with Vladika John as a man of prayer, as an art pastor concerned with human souls and always ready to come to their aid, those who experienced the power of his prayer, either personally or with, clothes, with the close uh, ones and relatives, these people will never forget Vladika and will always carry in their hearts the grateful memory of that warmth and light which he imparted. Vladika is gone, but he is not gone uh, 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 as a soul. He is gone as, uh, an, uh, only as a, a body. He is always with us, and his unceasing prayer, with which uh, that great man of prayer and was aflame, praying ceaselessly. In behalf of all and for all of us, he has been cut short. But the church abroad will not forget him because uh, he helped everyone, and his duty was uh, his uh, his uh, children, the baby, the 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 kids, the babies, or all the old people, all the other people, uh, all the people from all populations that needed his prayers which he gave with a lot of love. Uh, we, should pray, uh, we should pray that God would give us another saint, just as Saint John, to help us and guide us through these uh, dark years of, uh, of our lives. Best way to learn this man of prayers and the man of great miracles is to read to you some of his great miracles uh, in throughout throughout the world, this is this comes from Alexis Cattell in San Francisco. She was saved from drowning from uh, uh, San, uh, from uh, Vladika. In August 1988, my wife and I went for vacation to Hawaii into the island of Kauai. We had been there three times, and there where we there where we stayed was a good beach for swimming. My wife and I, both uh, good swimmers, and therefore we, we, had done, we had nothing to worry about one another for one another when we go swimming in the ocean. This time, on the night of our arrival, a hurricane had swept the island. Nevertheless, we went for a swim that day as usual. My wife stayed close to shore, while I struck out 
into deeper waters for a proper swim, suddenly out of knowledge. A big wave lashed at me and I was dragged under, under by the current away from the shore. I, le I later learned that after a hurricane there is a strong undertow. Knowing that it is futile to struggle against the undertow, I gradually swam to the surface and made my way towards the shore. I swam in until, when I stood up, the water was at shoulder level and I became walking towards shore. Suddenly, another great wave caught me and again I was pulled under. Although I had little strength left after the first wave, I managed somehow to swim to the surface. This time, I had been carried even further from shore and I realized that in spite of my efforts, I would not be able to reach shore against the current. I tried to attract my wife's attention, but she was on the beach standing with her back onto the water. Sensing that I was perishing, I was dying, I cried out al aloud, Vladika, John, help me. Instantly, my wife turned around and saw my peri perilous state. She ran towards a group of Hawaiians there on the beach asking for help. Grabbing their surfboards and ropes, they paddled out to me, secured me to one of the boards and brought me to shore. I firmly believe that without the help of Ladika John, I would not have I would have drowned and no one could have noticed. Now some miracles about healing people from uh, Vladika John. This is from Agapi Contrenus Portland OR. OR is a doctor. Vladika appears to a child and heals him. Hegumen Anastasi from an old cathedral, from the old cathedral, advised me to wrote to you about the blessing which my son Christopher received. It happened in 1983. Christopher was then three years old, went to a near specialist we went to a near specialist who found that he had a 30% hearing loss due to an accumulation of liquid behind the eardrum caused by repeated ear infections. His impaired healing contributed to a slowness in learning to speak. An operation was scheduled to drain the liquid and, and implant the tubes. That spring, my two older sons, 12 and 10 years old, had gone to visit Hegumen Anastasi in San Francisco. Brother James, Father Anastasi's assistant, told the Archbishop John Scott the Pulcher, and they brought home oil from the vigil lamp burning in his tomb. I anointed a Christopher with this oil before his visit to the speech, patholo to the speech pathologist, and again two days, two days before his operation, with the words, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, by the prayers of the ever-memorable Archbishop John, heal the ears of my son Christopher. The next day, Christopher had the final examination before the, the operation. The doctors discovered that his ears had healed. There was no hearing loss and all the liquid had disappeared. The operation was cancelled. It was a tremendous relief for us, but we were, we were even more amazed at what Christopher told us. That man made my ears better. He repeated this several times. Once after prayers, with which he finished with the words, Thank you for making my ears better. I asked, Who made your ears better? He pointed to a postcard of Larica John, which stood in the corner with our icons. Again, he repeated, This man made my ears better. He said this so insistently that I know he believes that blessed Vladika John healed his ears. I don't know how he knows this, but he does. He insists on this and we believe him. I have no other explanation. I only know that my son is now better And we are very grateful for the praise of the ever-blessed Archbishop John.
Another, another miracle is from the reader Vladimir Kotliafensky from Brussels in Belgium. Healings through the prayers of Vladika John. Thanks to the fervent prayers of Vladika John, my father Nicholas Mikhailovich quickly regained his health after a third heart attack in the summer of 1962. My father had already suffered two heart attacks um, before that in 1954 and 1958, and thereafter he spent a month each year in the Ardennes under the care of a doctor. My sister, Baroness Maria Nikolaevna Aprasinska, Aprasinska and I were at the doctor's when he told us that our father's condition was hopeless. Sander Vladika John appeared in our father's room and started to pray. Our father soon regained his health completely and returned home to Brussels, where he lived another four years. Valentin Kolenka Stadinsky graduated from the Poltava Cadet Corps. Vladika John also started there and the two became acquainted. After the Second World War, the Valentin, Valentin Kolenka moved from Yugoslavia to Brussels, where he lived with his sister M. 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 Dobrovolsky. Washing windows one day in his apartment, he fell from the second floor into the, onto the street. This happened in 1959. He was 65 or 66 years old. So many bones were broken that doctors held absolutely no hope for his recovery. Vladika John arrived at the hospital together with Father Serdomir Ostonchem and began to pray at the dying man's bedside. Father Serdomir later related that for the first time he had half Vladika John conversed in prayer with God. The next morning the doctors couldn't believe the sick man hadn't died. What's more, he began very quickly to recover. Within a month, he left the hospital completely healed and lived for a long time afterwards. This was told me in detail today by Vera Alexeyevna Stasen, the granddaughter of Archbishop Vasily Vinogradov, first rector of our cathedral Paris in Brussels. Philip uh, Gering was born in Brussels in 1943. Together with his brother Dimitri, he con uh, consequently served uh, Vladika as an altar boy. Philip was operated on uh, for what was thought to be simply appendicitis, but it was found to be cancer. His condition was hopeless. However, by the fervent prayers of Vladika John, Philip soon recovered completely. Something the doctors, of course, did not expect. He graduated as an engineer from the University of Louvain, of Louvain uh, worked in Canada and now lives in, in uh, Italy. Another miracle when Vladika helped ease his pain from arthritis. My wife has suffered for some time from arthritis, but when she became pregnant earlier this year, the symptoms more or less disappeared, which is what uh, usually happens. If the arthritis comes back during pregnancy, however, th this causes great suffering because a pregnant woman really cannot take any effective medicine without fear of harming her baby. Two weeks ago, we were on the kitchen. <clears throat> on vacation in Dallas, staying with Matuska's father. Uh, after we drove from her sister's to her father's house that evening, her knee became extremely swollen and it was difficult for her to walk. Because she could not take any med meditation and because of the thousand mile drive still ahead of us, this was, of course, very discouraging. I prayed to Vladika John and firmly promised that if he took care of Matushka's knee, I would send an account uh, of it to you. Within 24 hours, her knee was 
much better and by the time we had to leave, two days later it was quite healed entirely without medication of uh, an earthly kind. Glory be to God and blessed be to the memory of his righteous, righteousness, um, servant Archbishop John. This is, um, this is written by Priest Stephen Allen, Denver, uh, C.O. Now, one of his great um, miracles of uh, Vladika John. Vladika saves from death. It's from Sister Julia Montreal in Canada. Living in Sahai, I felt seriously ill with an inflammatory inflammation of the kidney. The best doctors attend me and there was no improvement. And after two months, all hope was gone for my recovery. I simply lay drugged, no longer taking any medicine, not even water. I was expected to die any day. My mother had very strong faith. One day, the poor exhausted lady uh, went to church of St. Olga's Orphanage, which was under the care of uh, Apes Adriana. At the end of the service, Vladika John came up to her. Don't cry, he said. I know all about it. Julia is near death. I'll come in an hour to give her unction. He didn't say anything else. He didn't ask for the address, nothing. Within half an hour, Vladika was at my bedside where I lay unconscious. When he left, my mother later told me I fell asleep. I slept for a long, long time. Early in the morning, I opened my eyes and asked for some water. The pains in my stomach were gone and my temperature had dropped. Within two weeks, I was completely well. Abbas Adriana knows all about this case and can testify to the accuracy of my account. 